Hey Justice, it is most definitely not Friday, but I ended up uploading my video last night and was having issues all day yesterday, and for whatever reason, the audio cut out on my second attempt at recording a video. I recently this morning tried to replace the video that I did last night with the video that I did but earlier in the day, and that video is still taking forever to upload for some unknown reason, so I guess that I will retry this and do it today. So, hello Justice, it is Saturday, and I apologize for having you, you know, notice that I had no audio in my video. Um, ugh. Yesterday was a pain in the butt. I tried like five different times to upload the same video, and it wasn't working, and I don't know why, but it just didn't want to. And then of course last night when I tried to upload the second video, because I got tired of trying to wait for it and trying to explain things to you, I could not for the life of me get it to work, so I re-recorded myself, and then when you got it this morning, when your internet finally came back on, there was no audio. So, here I am recording my video. Good morning, Erin. Or good afternoon, should I say, but still, there's cake over there. Um, <laughs> and, mon and not mon monkey bread, but banana bread. Um, so, to have a recap of what I talked about last night when I was complaining, ranting, and whatever, um, I talked about the new boss that had come into my work. I don't really care about her because I am now done with work officially, so that doesn't matter anymore. Um, but I ranted about her a little bit. Her name's Angie. Uh, I explained the situation to you, and you understand it, so there's that. Um, so I don't need to re-explain that at all. I haven't gotten that much sleep this week. Today is probably the most awake I've been so far, and last night I did not get as much sleep as I wanted to. I'm coming down sick because I've got a sore throat. I can feel it in the back of my throat now, and I'm just like, oh no, I'm getting what Josh had on the week that we're moving. And it took him a week to get over it. <laughs> and I don't want it to be, you know, from this point until we move sicker than a dog. I do not want that to happen. So. I've been taking medication, trying to keep that down, and hoping to God that my immune system kicks it out of my system so that way I don't have to worry about it. I don't know if it's going to work. I have my fingers crossed. Um, so there's that. Your word of the week is sick, because I feel sick. Um, so that's all the stuff that I talked about. And now on to new business, because um, things happen today. Today is my last day at work. Um, I mentioned that yesterday, that today is going to be my last day. And uh, for today, my boss is the most amazing boss I've ever had. She's the only boss I've had up to this point because most of the work that I've done prior to working at Meyer rhymed, haha, <laughs> um, was all not hobby work because you obviously know EBC is hobby work and I could add that to my um, resume and I will. But all the work that I did up until that point was all um, volunteer work. So I didn't get paid for most of the jobs that I did when I was in high school going on up until now. So it was my first job and Kathy was prob is probably the best boss that I could have possibly had. She was understanding for my school schedule. She wanted me to make she wanted to make sure that I did well in school and she wanted to make sure that everybody in our department did well with what they did. So honestly I will I do not regret that choice. I really did enjoy working in the department that I did. I had a very good experience with Meyer despite you know some things could have taken a much worse turn so I'm really appreciative of that. Um, and I managed to work there for two two years, one month, and two days. Because I started on the sixth, sixteenth, uh, June sixteenth in two thousand and thirteen. Thirteen, yeah, because two years, yeah. So two thousand and thirteen, and I started off at minimum wage, well, just above minimum wage, and I topped off at about not double, not double that, more like an extra dollar and so many cents. I'm not going to enclose how much I made because that really isn't too important. <laughs> um, but that's how that all went. Um, but no, I she started crying when saying goodbye and it was just really... Uh, she's going to call me tomorrow, <laughs> but it was just really emotional and she brought everybody over. They all had a piece of cake. I'm probably going to end up giving half that cake to my dad because I will happily load my little brothers up on sugar for them to get sugar high. I will happily pass that off to my dad and my cousins because Josh, Aaron, and I will not finish that cake. <laughs> There's no way. I will have maybe another piece of it and that's it because, oh my god, that's sweet. Um, mm. I can only eat so much cake. I will happily get cupcakes for birthdays because, you know, six cupcakes and out of four, three people, they, like the little tiny ones, that's perfect. I don't need a ton of cupcakes. Unless it's the whipped icing, I really don't care for cake. 
It's it's good. I like it, but not a whole lot of it. But I'll probably end up passing that off to my dad. And then on top of that, Kathy gave me a fifty dollar gift card to Kohl's. So, yeah, that took me off guard. But that's basically how that all went. And I, you now have the audio at least, so you can hear me talking, and I'm not ranting angrily to you about things, and I'm just explaining stuff. Um, we've got six days until the move. I already warned you about this last week. I'm going to say it again this week. If I don't record on Friday, it is because I did not have the time to do so. I will probably have the time at some point during that weekend. Uh, sometime, maybe? I hope. If not, you'll get a compilation video of us moving with some recordings of the trip if Beta drives at any point in time. Um, if not, if you don't, it's not that big of a deal. I'll probably end up at least recording our drive back because we have to drive all the way to Massachusetts. We're basically... The breakdown is we're spending about four days driving. It's going to be the drive to Kent. Then after the drive to Kent, we're going to stay there for a night and pack up what Josh has left at his parents' house. After we get there, we're going to end up driving the rest of the way out to Massachusetts. That way, we, we kind of split it. So on the 24th, we take a three-hour drive. On the, on the 25th, we'll take a nine-hour drive. Then we get to Massachusetts. We'll probably unload everything from the U-Haul um, trailer that we're going to rent and return that to the company, at least or a nearby facility, hopefully, um, within that time frame. And then the next day we'll get back up, or whatever, deal with everything, finish unpacking if we have to, because I know that Josh and Beta want to take like a break and go bar hopping and stuff and whatever. And then we're going to come back again and repeat the process. Anyway, so that is the information that I'm going to give you. I'm nearing seven minutes. I will see you on Monday.